Welcome to Let's Set the Record Straight with your host, Tony Glover. Featured today or this evening, or I should say tonight, we have Eric Beter in the house. And a very enlightened brother, uh, does like a lot of education, uh, been to various different places, originally from Los Angeles, California. And the topic of discussion this evening on um, relationships uh, between uh, the black man and woman. Primarily, we're going to talk about the black woman, and then we're going to do one on the black men, so that way we're not too uh, biased. So, so, Eric. Yes, uh, tell me. All right. The question I have for you, Eric, is, is yes. that, okay, the statistics states that black women is like 70% uh, in this country that are single. And could you give us any reasons why that may be? Yeah, they're not married. Just kidding. But uh, I don't know. I think the, the the reasons for their not being married are, are you know, are, they're very many many of the uh, expectations that women have in this country, black or otherwise, um, in many respects are are unrealistic in terms of men being able to actually live up to these these idealized visions that they have in their head. Um, many women have been given the perception that, you know, they're basically princesses and they're waiting for their knight in shining armor who will, you know, cart them away to their, you know, to their kingdom uh, and they'll be cared for for the rest of their lives without having to you know, work a day in their lives to, you know, to provide. And um, unfortunately, these are very unrealistic expectations. And even more so in the black community, um, in this country, simply because, quite frankly, we have a history of slavery. Um, 200 years deep, or 250 going on now, um, and we're dealing with both men and women who were estranged from their uh, their original country, place of origin, and their own history, and subsequently were separated from each other, even though they'd be on the same plantation. Um, they were not allowed to actually interact other than for breeding purposes. So they don't know how to actually communicate and connect with each other. And so this particular divide, um, the ripple effect of that is in our generation, we have men and women, black men and women, who desire to be with one another, but are ill-equipped to be able to communicate with one another, nor to uh, appreciate the differences with one another without being judgmental or uh, without uh, being antagonistic toward each other. And this is a huge, huge problem for black men and for black women in this country. As far as with um, what you call it, I would like to say the angry black woman, that when you think that's, what's, what's, what's going on there when we talk about like, oh, the angry black woman that grab the angry black woman and why you think more black men have gone, let's say, over the threshold in dating, let's say, white women in relation to kids? Well, I think that um, there are a couple of things that, that add to that particular dynamic. Um, initially, uh, once again, we're, we're, we're back to the inability of people to communicate because of the, uh, the effects of slavery in keeping men and women who were breeding apart except for when they were breeding. So you separate quote unquote a husband from a wife or a father from a mother um, and the father from the children, then there, there are no lines of communication that are open so that people can learn to relate with one another nor are there grandparents in the house who can teach them how to relate with one another. 
So you do this over generations, what you end up having is female-run homes. Now, in and of itself, that shouldn't be a bad thing, but when you compound the fact that you're having a female-driven home without the ability to communicate with males, but you want ultimately to be able to have a relationship with a male as a black woman, you're going to have huge hurdles. And uh, as you stated earlier, the statistics speak of those huge hurdles. Um, with over 70%, I believe you had said initially, 77% uh, of black women in this country are, are single. Um, quite frankly, there are good reasons for, for why a black woman would be angry. Um, if you have an inability to communicate with somebody who you desire to be with, but you don't have the tools uh, to be able to do that, that would be very frustrating and has been very frustrating. Um, and then of course for the black males they have a similar problem. They're frustrated with trying to communicate uh, with black, black women in this country but they are ill-equipped to be able to do that on an equal footing. Um, there, there's incredible frustration. And the frustration, of course, turns into, you know, in simple form, which we just call anger. Um, frankly, people don't want to deal with anger. Not head on, I mean, you know, for, for all that, that uh, you know, black women would say they're angry about, uh, they don't want to deal with an angry black man just point blank and even if they you know have the ability to understand the reason for a black man's anger they don't want to deal with it at least of all on a consistent basis because that's not the foundation of a loving relationship um, but because of the dynamics that have happened in this country black women have been in charge of the household with the children and so they've tended to take more of a dominant role within a particular family unit. So whatever particular attitudes that they had at the time, since they were unchecked by the males in the household, um, those particular emotions or attitudes have dominated the household. And that includes, it certainly isn't limited to, but it certainly includes uh, an angry demeanor, an angry disposition and a very dominant uh, disposition. And men, across the board, but it, also with black men, they simply don't want to deal with, a, for the most part, with a dominant woman. That's not to say that the woman has to necessarily uh, be submissive to the point of slavery, um, but certainly they don't want to have a confrontation uh, every single time that they bring a point up to their uh, to their their partner, um, and that's a serious problem in this particular country. So many times, it's for lack of a better way of saying it, easier uh, to avoid that particular challenge and problem, and to uh, take the the road of least resistance and to date and mate with uh, a female from a different ethnic background uh, that is less antagonistic um, and less confrontational um, so that you can have a more nurturing um, and a more loving environment in the home that a black man feels that he can uh, have a positive uh, influence and positive contribution without, without having to feel that he has to compete for that position in the household with his mate.